Hi, my friend. This is your favorite entrepreneur, Simone Redman, and I'm actually reporting live today from my home office here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And I wanted to talk to you about something that I read in a book that is very useful information for you, especially if you have children or plan on having children, and it's about financial education. So stay tuned. So welcome back. Now, you know, I normally do not do any type of videos that talk about financial education or anything outside of the home business industry. I normally give you videos with tips on how to grow your business within that home business industry. But I felt like something, I felt like I needed to do something different. And I wanted to tell you about something that I read in a book that kind of stuck with me because it's something that I did not really learn as a child, but I'm learning it now. And I feel like if you have children or plan on having children, this can definitely help your children when they get older, if they are living, you know, if they're still living or whatever's going on. Um, so I have been reading this book. It's called Why A Students Work for C Students and Why B Students Work for the Government by Robert Kiyosaki. Very, very good book. Um, I have been reading this for about a good couple of weeks now and I've found something very, uh, very educational in this. And I love anything by Robert Kiyosaki because I know that I'm going to learn something about financial education in any shape, way, or form, okay? So um, he talks about the four gorillas that the children, that our children will have to deal with in the future, okay? And I felt that when I saw this, I said, okay, well, this is great, but this is something that's going on now. And how can we fix that situation when our children get older? So gorilla number one is the new problem of growing old. All right, so in 1935, the Social Security Administration Act was signed by President Franklin D. Roosevelt, okay, that determined that if you were 65 or older, you can get some type of benefit or a pension from your job, you know, for you actually retiring, okay? So at that time, the age of 65 was considered an old age. Well, now here in 2016, 65 is considered the new 45, according to most of those baby boomers. So therefore, people are living longer, you know, with so many advancements in technology and medicine, it kind of makes it hard for our children and for us as an, as adults for us to really be able to be taxpayers and still paying for our older generation who's still living okay because of these advancements in medicine and technology so many people fear their loss of independence more than they fear them dying and leaving this earth which is kind of crazy to me I've never ever even thought about this so in the year 2012 the government admitted that Social Security was going to be bankrupt by the year 2033. I know me personally, I'll be 43 in 2033. So that kind of kind of scares me and it kind of scares me for my future children. I don't have any now, I have a five pound Yorkie, but I don't have any children, but that kind of scares me for my future children because we're gonna have to start planning, you know, ways for them to save more money because they may not have Social Security when they get older. So what do you do? Well. That led me to think, okay, well, you know, how can we start planning for our children's future now? You know, how can I start doing that? So that's something that you can kind of think of. You know, this is a gorilla, as they call it, a gorilla that our children will have to face in the future. And we, as an adult, have to start preparing them for it. All right, gorilla number two is accelerating national debt. All right, so our children will face compounding debt as the years goes on and compounding interest on that debt too. In the year 2000, the national debt in here in the United States was $5 trillion, okay? Fast forward to 2012, the national debt was 16 trillion, okay? So you just have to realize like, okay, as our children get older, as we get older, the national debt of our country is going to skyrocket, okay? It's going to skyrocket. What can we do about it? We have to start preparing our children for that okay you have to start preparing your children for that all right gorilla number three is the new depression okay so in history there are only two depressions that have occurred not recessions depressions number one was the united states depression in 1929 okay and number two was the german in hyperinflation of the 1920s okay so if you've attended any american school you all know about the depression that happened in the 1920s 
We all know about it, we all learned about it, but we don't know about this German hyperinflation. I never knew about this one, okay? So hyperinflation is a rapid, rapid inflation of a country's currency that leaves it virtually worthless, okay? Like your money is not worth anything, okay? So for instance, the US dollar, you know, could be a dollar, but it's not worth anything because why there's so much, you know, everything is overpriced. You can't, you can't afford anything. So the people in Germany who work for money and actually save their money, they could be the losers. They were the losers in the situation because their money meant nothing, okay? They saved their money and they worked for money. And that's not a good thing. So Robert, Kiyot Robert Kiyosaki talks about um, a new depression, okay, that actually started in 2007 with the recession that happened with the, the houses and the banks foreclosed. I mean, all of that stuff happening. That is a new depression. He feels like that's a new depression. And he also states, and I'm reading from my notes here, he says that in the new depression, savers, retirees, and fixed income workers will be the biggest losers, okay? Now, I'm, I'm not saying all of this. This is what's actually in the book. You have to read the book to, to really understand what he's saying. And he said that debt, debtors and producers of food, fuel, and shelter, as well as those who hold who hold gold, silver, and diamonds rather than cash will be the biggest winners out of this new depression, okay? So you just really have to take that into consideration, okay? What can we do to help our children prepare for our future of our country, okay? So, gorilla number four is higher taxes. Okay? Higher taxes and there's higher inflation, which is also an increase on taxes as well. So how can you avoid, okay, so how can us as Americans avoid paying higher taxes? Now, if you are in the home business industry, you know that you have more tax advantages than those people who actually typically work jobs, okay? Because the government, um, pride, well, I will say prides people who do have their own business because why they're creating more jobs. So of course you're going to have to pay, you're going to pay less taxes than an, as an entrepreneur than you are a typical worker. All right. So in this book, this is the cash flow quadrant. Now this right here is how you can, well, how Robert Kiyosaki determines, you know, how people actually pay taxes in our country. Okay. So I'm going to be reading to you from this book. It says E is in ER employees and these are the people with steady jobs who rely on paychecks okay those in the s quadrant are those who are self-employed who work by the hour or on commission or or on a fee basis okay many a students such as doctors and lawyers reside in this s quadrant okay keep keep listening the b quadrant is filled with people such as steve jobs and bill gates entrepreneurs who start large businesses and then i is for the professional active investors like warren buffett now, if you think about it, schools teach us to be in the in the E and the S quadrant. Why? Because they always tell us that, and they always have told us this, that if you don't go to school and get good grades, you won't get a good job. Most schools teach that. Well, I won't say most. About 95% of schools teach that, okay? We have to learn how to switch from the E and the S quadrant to the B and the I quadrant. That way, when you do that, you're going to be paying less taxes because you are an entrepreneur. You're helping other people create jobs. That's what we have to learn how to prepare our children for. And I'm not saying that jobs are wrong because I have worked numerous jobs. I'm not saying anything bad about it, but it is that we have to protect our children. Okay. Our, our children are the future of our country. And I feel like this is something that a lot of parents do not talk to their children about. So this is very good information. I just felt like I had to share it with you all today. Um, I do hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you do not have this book, I suggest you go get this. I got this at Barnes and Noble here at my local Barnes and Noble here in uh, Chattanooga for $16. So definitely get this. It's very, very good, good reading material. Um, and I do have a free gift for you, okay? I have a free video marketing survival guide that you can download today, okay? I have the, I have the site on here. You can click on the link below this video or above this video, just depending on which platform you are watching this on. And you can definitely download that as a free video marketing survival guide, the seven skills that has helped me come out of my comfort zone to give you quality and good training videos just like this one today. All right, so you can download that and I definitely hope that you're able to utilize it and use it and take good notes on it too, okay? So this has been another Success Tips by Simone video. I hope you have a great day today and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.